well, well, Quiet story, all right. <laughs> well, we had, we had, there was, there was the two guys who, we were, there were three of us, legends for drinking, okay, mm -hmm. and for having a, you know, rough, you know, kind of a wild Rabelaisian life. One was Richard Burton. Of course. Peter O'Toole, mm -hmm. the great O'Toole, and Harris. And O'Toole, <laughs> O'Toole and I did a play together down in Bristol Old Vic, which is a very famous uh, theatre in England. And we have, and during the play, there's about 15 to 20 minutes when actually we're not on stage. So every single night, we come off stage together, dash across the street, duck the taxis into the bar. And we'd be throwing back beers and beers, watching the time, making sure we got back on time for our queue, right? Uh -huh. Well, one night, we got so engrossed in telling stories that we forgot that we were on stage. And the next minute, this, the door burst open, and the stage, uh, the stage manager came rushing on and said, Harris O'Toole, for God's sake, you're on! You're on! There's a full house waiting for you! The play has stopped dead! Come on! We dropped our drink quickly down our throat, rushed across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Must have wasted. No, no, no. So we dashed across the street. We were ducking taxis, ducking this and that. I dashed in. I had to make my entrance just before him. As I hit the stage door over the plan, I, I heard my cue. I thought I, I'll never make it. Dashed up the stairs, dashed across. Pause on stage. Harris is not on. O'Toole is not on. I just dashed on, tripped over a wire slid right across the stage, right down to the footlights, and hung over onto the lap of two or three sort of Bristolian old women. <laughs> and O'Toole was to come on next, and this woman looked at me in shock as my sort of head was in her lap. And she said out loud, Good God! Harris is drunk! <laughs> 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 and I, and I looked at her and I said, Madam, if you think I'm drunk, wait till O'Toole makes his entry. <laughs> and with that word, she struck me on the head and through the instrument, my pate made way. And there I stood amazed for a while as on a pillory, looking through the lute. While she did call me rascal fiddler and twangling jack. Now, by the word, it is a lusty wench. I love her ten times more than ever I did. Oh, how I long to have some chat with her. Signor Petruchio, will you go with us? Or shall I send my daughter Kate to you? I pray you do. I will attend her here. And woo her with some spirit when she comes. Say that she rail. Why, then I'll tell her plain she sings as sweetly as a nightingale. Say that she frown. I'll say she looks as clear as morning roses newly washed with dew. If she be mute and will not speak a word, then I'll commend her volubility and say she uttereth piercing eloquence. If she do bid me pack, I'll give her thanks as though she bade me stay by her a week. If she deny to wed, I'll pray the day when I shall ask the vans and when be married. But here she comes, and now the took you speak. Good morrow, Kate. Not actually. There is a very good story, though, about Peter too, who was once getting drunk in his... Celtic Hellraiser days in a pub in London and uh, they were uh, throwing out time at lunchtime. He said, let's go and see a play. And, and um, at 1.0 tool nudged his friend and said, this is brilliant. This is a bit where I come on. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Can I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and oft is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death Brack, thou wanderest in his shade when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe and eyes can see, so long lives this and this gives life to thee. 